Well, howdy folks, it's been a long time since I've made a video. Uh, Dee Dee's gone, we have to sell Dee Dee. Dee Dee's gone to a good home. Nice gentleman bought her. He's gonna drive her around every day. He's really excited about having her, and so I don't feel quite so bad. Because, like I said, we moved, and so we don't have the space now that we had in the other house, so things have to go. I'd sell one of my motorcycles, so that one's gone. My CBO Springer, Softail Springer, of course. It's always hard to get rid of stuff that you like so much because you still like it. It's not that you don't want it, you just can't have it anymore. Plus, I'm getting on in years, can't do everything, and so Frankie's, Frankie's the next thing to go. So, Frankie, we're selling Frankie too, uh, so I can put my cars in the garage. That's, uh, they're gonna, they're just getting ruined in the heat out here in Texas. So Frankie's gonna go. Um, it's, it's, again, it's sad. I put a lot of time and energy and love into the truck, but somebody's gonna enjoy it, and that's good. So what I'm doing now is I'm working on my, my Harley Davidson uh, 2004 Road King. That I've done some things to it to make it personal, and uh, thought I'd film this. I know it's not Model A stuff, but if anybody has bikes and stuff, I'm sure you do, some of you. I had a touring pack put on with a touring, touring seat on it with a backrest for me that's adjustable, and you can adjust it on the fly, so that was really good, but then it gave up on me, and I, my little piston gave up on me. Um, so, let me get the camera over here and I'll show you what I'm talking about and I trying to find one of these things was like you know looking for a needle in a haystack for some reason I don't know why because I went on on the net and sort of did all kinds of searching and didn't, couldn't find the one I wanted and called a couple of Harley dealers and they you know you can't you have to buy the whole unit and blah 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 so I called the one Longhorn Harley Davidson dealer in uh, Grand Prairie Texas, Longhorn, Harley Davidson dealer, Grand Prairie, Texas. You can order one through them, and uh, it came. I put it in the back. I'm just going to show you what it is here. All right. So this here is the seat here. There's a pad that goes in here, and this. The cylinder here is what gave it up. And she looks like that. The thing comes with this, you don't need that because you just unscrew it. Just uns unscrew it like that. And then you screw the other one back in, the new one back in. Of course you have to take not these, you take these out because that holds the top, screw it in here. You just adjust it so this valve, on, there's a valve on the end. Let me show you. There's a little, little, little nubbin on the end right there. And if you push on it, say you push on it, and that's supposed to release this, which it does, but this one's jammed or the gas has gone out of it or something, so she don't work anymore. So you just have to adjust that. There's a little arm here. There's an arm there that, that goes, it goes in like this. And then you got a wire that pulls, and then you got a cable that pulls it. And you just adjust it so that when you're pulling it, it actually depresses that little nipple thing there. So that's what it costs. I think it cost me $115 plus tax. And it gives you a little bit of instructions, but there's not need much to put it in. I mean, you know, it's not rocket science once you kind of look at it. First, I thought I had to take this nut out here, which means you have to drop the wheel out because it's all hooked in. In the other places, you have to buy this whole unit. Of course, I, who knows what that's going to cost. But uh, there you go. That's it. So I'm uh, working on that. I 
and uh, also working on putting in a new carburetor. I want to do the carburetor on it so I can take this off and clean it. I bought a new one. And kind of just general maintenance. It's uh, oil's fine. I use synthetics completely on, on all my vehicles, synthetic oils. Because I uh, I just think they're better for your bike. Your engine stays cleaner. And so that's what I'm doing now. So take the seat here. against it it doesn't jump on you like it does when you're nobody's on it so it's like that and then you can adjust it where you want. I'll put it there right now. That's pretty good and that gives your my misses a little bit there. But I'll tell you riding with that well that backrest is the only way to go. Once you have one and you get to be my age you certainly don't want to uh, to ride without it. And uh, my wife Carrie, she likes, I bought the touring back for it right there. And she gets that nice big seat back on there. And that's how I come around the other side so you can see it. That wrap around there, that really is nice for her. She really likes that. And then she's got the foot, foot, foot pads for her as well. You know, so that she can, she can fall asleep on it riding down the road. So that's what I'm doing now. Working on, working on this little beauty. I think I'll probably put in an LED headlight in it because they're brighter. I've had this motorcycle for 19 years. It's been a really good bike. And, uh, That's what I'm doing now, working on the bike. Like I say, Frankie's going. Y'all have a blessed day, and thanks for watching.